Welcome back to From the South. The Cuban government denounced the continuity for over 60 years of the economic, commercial and financial blockade formally imposed by the United States. On February 3, 1962, President John F. Kennedy issued an executive order imposing an embargo on all trade with Cuba. These punitive economic sanctions against the island were taken in the aftermath of the triumph of the revolution. Declassified records have shown that the initial concept of the U.S. economic pressure was to create hardship and disenchantment among the Cuban population and to deny money and supplies. In order to decrease monetary and real wages, to bring about hunger, desperation and the overthrow of the government. At the present moment, there is practically no country in the world that does not condemn the blockade. The United Nations General Assembly has voted on 29 consecutive occasions against these coercive measures. Last July, 184 countries rejected the blockade, while only Ukraine, Brazil and Colombia abstained from voting. Nowadays, only the U.S. and Israel did not condemn the commercial blockade against the island. After six decades of this policy, damages reached nearly $150,000 billion, over $5 billion in losses since 2015. Food and agriculture sectors are the worst affected with more than $400 million in losses between 2019 and 2020, and the healthcare system with more than $160 million in the same period. Tourism has also been affected with $1.8 billion in losses.